What is going on everybody, TD Presents here, back again bringing you guys some Mutt 25. Definitely have a ton to go over in this episode. I'm going to start things off by saying Colin Kaepernick and Alden Smith, they were late to practice and they have been dismissed from the team. So we're going to go ahead, we're going to have to get a new quarterback, we're going to have to get a new right outside linebacker. But you guys see me here buying a Joseph Fourier to start things off. Then I'm going to go ahead buy a Kenny Vaccaro. And you guys probably know where I'm going with this. I'm going and trying to complete that collection for the final edition to Sean Gibson. Definitely a really good card, 97 overall. But one of the main reasons why I did this was you see me, I spent maybe 3,000 coins or less on Fourier. I spent 1,500 on Cecil Shorts. Zach Stacy, definitely the most expensive one, just under 10k. But I probably spent around 20,000 at the max to complete this collection. And then you receive 500 coins for each one you put in. So that's 2,000 back right there. Plus, you get an additional 5,000 for completing it, so that's 7,000. And then I sold my 93 overall McCordy for 18K. So I came away with about 7,000 extra coins and upgraded my safety from 93 to 97. Then you see we're going to replace Colin Kaepernick with John Elway, a card a lot of you guys have been asking to see. I was choosing between him or Otto Graham, but unfortunately, I didn't have enough coins for Graham. So I went ahead, grabbed John Elway. And you see me here looking at the right outside linebackers. And we're going to take a huge hit going from a 99 overall. But you know what? Brian Rackpo, 93 overall. He should definitely get the job done. So here's my lineup heading into the final part of the season. Hopefully we won't have many chemistry issues getting these new players on the team. You can see that pass offense now led by John Elway. We still got Jordy Nelson, Demarius Thomas, those guys. And the defensive front, still the exact same. Except that linebacker core gets even weaker. We get rid of 99 Alden Smith. He gets replaced with 93 Arakpo. And then there's that 97 Deshaun Gibson. Really excited to use that card. So let's get into the first gameplay of this video. You can see his QB Walter Payton. And he didn't run much read option with him, which I was surprised. He ran a bunch of quick passes. And I figured that out real quick. You can see Namdi right here getting the interception. And he's going to take this one all the way back to the house. 10-5 touchdown great way to start the game come out defense makes a big play so we're up and we get the ball in the second half so if we get a stop here are able to go up 14 nothing and get the ball in the second half things are looking good you can see my opponent we hold him to a long field goal it's gonna make it seven to three so we come out back on offense john elway looking right side on third down finds demarius thomas and that's gonna keep the drive moving now once again, another third and 14. This time we find Isaac Bruce. And John Elway's looking pretty good. Definitely a better passer than Colin Kaepernick. Not as fast, but he'll definitely get the job done. Here in third and eight, try hitting him with a halfback draw. But LeGarrette Blunt comes up just short. It's so on the very next play. We go for it on fourth down. Find Jordy Nelson for the touchdown. And Elway has his first touchdown on the team. And look at that, Mario Williams right there. Thought for sure we were going to have a pick six, but we forced my opponent into a third and 17. Ten seconds remaining in the half. He throws it deep. And look at that, that new to Sean Gibson in his debut, coming up with a huge interception. And most of all, that left us in field goal range. So Greg Zerline kicks about a 60-yard field goal, puts us up 17-3. And this one's starting to get out of hand. John Elway, not as fast as Colin Kaepernick, but he still gets the job done in the read option. Taking this one to the house, 49-yard score. In this game, it's pretty much over. But you guys saw at the beginning of the episode, I picked up a Joseph Fourier for a couple thousand coins. I put him into the collection. I decided to go and get another one for about a thousand coins. And I'm going to tell you guys right now, he's an absolute beast. But first, Devin Hester. Look at this kick return right here. Spins out of one tackle, makes another guy miss. And he's taking this one all the way to the house. I don't get many kick returns. But this was definitely a big one. Puts us up 31-10. to 10, And we didn't slow down at all. Elway once again looking down the field. And we're going to end up finding Thurman Thomas. Who's going to make a spin move. Make one guy miss. Gets inside the 15-yard line. And our offense is looking stellar. Now on the play action fake. Elway looking to the right corner. And look at Fourier. Getting his feet in bounds. 6'7". Good run blocker. Really good in the passing game. And he wanted to get another touchdown. We find him once again. So we go on to win this game. Absolute dominant performance, 45-10. to 10. I know there's been a few blowouts lately, but trust me, at the end of the season, there's definitely some crazy games you don't want to miss. Also, what came out just a few hours ago, the new final edition. The thing with these players, they're good and they're cheap, 
but you can't sell them or trade them after you get them. So you can see the new one is a 97 to Brickishaw Ferguson. And then you see the four cards that go in the collection. Couple 90 overalls, we got a Pierre Garcon, 93 overall. We also got a Morgan Burnett, 91 overall free safety. You can see these players, they're starting to get better and better each week. Before, a lot of the four players were 80s and sometimes 90s. Now we're getting to the point where most of these players are 90 overall. So definitely some great cards. You can probably pick a few of them up for very cheap, even if you don't plan them doing the collection. But 97 overall, Debrickashaw Ferguson, the new card that just came out. But now it's time to jump into week number eight. We're finally back playing at home. And the last time we played at home, Colin Kaepernick started the game off in the pistol formation. Goes play action. Ends up finding Demarius Thomas for an 84-yard touchdown to start the game. And then we're going to fast forward this week. This time it's John Elway. The same exact play. First play of the game. This time it's 81 yards. Looks almost identical. And there's not a better way to start the game. One play touchdown up seven nothing in the first minute but my opponent comes back he also has a decent team also is Elway and Thurman Thomas here he finds Vernon Davis across the middle and then the next play the ball ends up getting swatted right back to his wide receiver so John Elway four for four on the drive then he ends up finding Jerry Rice for the touchdown actually excuse me it's Chris Carter for the touchdown so we're tied at seven apiece now Elway looking downfield, finding Joseph Fourier. Absolutely love this guy, but that was about it for the drive. We have to settle for a field goal, so with 250 remaining, we take a 10-7 lead. My opponent back on offense, stepping back, looking across his body. Namdi comes up with yet another interception, and he's going to end up returning that one to the 45, but since my opponent was so giving, I decided to give it right back. John Elway ends up throwing an interception. And to make things even worse, he absolutely destroys me on that spin move. And he's going to take this one all the way back to the house. 20, 10, 5. Still at the one yard line. And he would end up running out of bounds. But it doesn't matter. He wanted to take some time off the clock. He ends up scoring a touchdown. Goes up 14 to 10. But I still do have 30 seconds to work with. Thurman Thomas on the counter play. Thankfully gets out of bounds. And we're already up to the 46 yard line. Now on second and seven. On the screen pass, finding Thomas once again, picking up some nice blockers, gets out of bounds, and we would end up taking the field goal, so it's going to make it a 14-13 game. But as you know, my opponent gets the ball in the second half, Elway dropping back, looking left side, finds his receiver, and that's going to make it fourth in inches, and he decided to go for it. He goes no huddle, Elway dropping back, looks right side, Patrick Peterson comes up with a huge play. And after that, it completely changed the game. A couple plays later, Thurman Thomas getting into the end zone untouched. That's going to make it 21-14. to And now my opponent, after a pretty long drive, Elway gets sacked on first and goal. And that puts him in a bad situation. Second and goal from the 19-yard line. Looking left side. Who else but Nomini comes away with yet another interception. And a score here will definitely put the game away. Going five wide, third and 14. That was definitely the story of this drive. We find Demarius Thomas picks up the first down. And it keeps the clock going, keeps the drive going. And now on another third and long, we do the same exact play. Find Demarius Thomas once again. He ends up getting hurt, but we wouldn't need him much after that. So we find Joseph Fourier running people over. And that would pretty much do it for the game. We're going to go ahead, take the field goal, put us up 24-14. Unless my opponent scores quickly and gets an onside kick, this game's pretty much over. Final play of the game, Elway looking left side. Nam D comes up with the hat trick, his third interception of the game. So we come out with two victories, one more win, we get a first round bye. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like if you did, comment down below what you think, and subscribe if you're new to the channel. I'm TD Presents, and I'm signing out. Peace.